you know, there, this is obviously a very unprecedented time in which we find ourselves. COVID-19 has not had as much of an impact on the casework for IPTX as it has on our clients because all of our clients' cases have already gone through the system. That means they're already in there. The court hearings have essentially finished up and we're just working on trying to get that undone. As of about two weeks ago, if that, uh, they started to provide masks. Um, but it's basically like pulling teeth. It's not like you can see people hand sanitizer because alcohol is not allowed. Most of them only have like one little bar of soap and that's, that's it. They don't always have access to running water. Um, and you know, you don't, you don't know how to help them. There's not any kind of, there are not any kind of protocols in place for how to deal with this. You know, unfortunately, prisoners don't go anywhere. So that's your staff and everybody else that's coming to the prison system bringing that in. Yeah, they're still transferring inmates from say a Gatesville unit into a prison where there hasn't been any confirmed cases. They're transferring those people to Florida which should not be happening, considering there, I mean, there's a huge outbreak in Gatesville units right now. You hear the news and you hear the concerns and you know that they're taking precautions, but in all reality, you know, it's still business as usual and that's, you know, what the prison system is. When it comes to prison and being in a lockdown situation, movement stops. Any kind of classes, um, stop phone calls. The only thing that you're, you're allowed to do is basically write letters and stay in your small cubicle or, you know, an eight by 10 cell. It's a really hard time actually in prison because you lose that ability to, okay, now I gotta sit down and think about everything that, you know, whatever it could be, you know, it, it could be the case or it could be how much time you're facing or, you know, how your family is. You know, it's just in there, your mind is your worst enemy. The only thing that we know to do for our clients, especially in these prisons as they go on lockdown, is to write them letters of reassurance, to tell them that they're not forgotten, that we're out here and we're thinking about them. And we're advocating for them, but more importantly, that we see them as a human being and we see that they have value.